All right, I think this is the second largest like range of bags from this, uh, from a brand. So this is from Loaibe, arguably my favorite brand, I guess. So I have quite a bit of items from this brand. Let's start off with this. And now looking at this bag, I forgot what it's called now. Oh yeah, I do, I do remember. Um, this is called the cushion tote mine i think this is in the large size in the green cuff in the caramel color i got this not long ago but i did use this quite a bit during summer and then it started sitting in my wardrobe because i mean i don't i don't care this much uh, it's such a big like it looks like a ship <laughs> about the sail. Um, but I do love the aesthetic of this bag. I love the design overall. And I must agree, like this, the width. Is it the width? The height, the width. The depth of this bag. It's too, too wide, I feel. Especially when this gets put on your shoulder. Can you see how that sticks out so much? And considering this doesn't have anything in it, but when you start packing this bag up, it's gonna take quite a bit of space in it, and it's gonna try and slip that shoulder strap there. So one thing I'm annoyed about this bag was that one. So maybe this one would not stay in the collection for a little I don't know. I'm still trying to give this a chance. But it looks like it's not gonna stay in the collection. Um, unfortunately. But I do love it, you know. I'm glad that I've tried this bag. Um, okay. Um, Alright, this is my Loewe Bay. Okay. This is not the Barcelona, wasn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, this I this is kind of my version of the Chanel boy bag, but in a more subtle way. If you don't want the the aesthetic of the like the boy bag, I feel like this is such a good kind of not I don't want to say alternative, but it's an alternative. It's an alternative. But I just love it because it's so subtle, classic, you know, black bag that you cannot go wrong with. Very light, unlike the Chanel Boy. And the mechanism of this is like this. You shut it close like that. And linking it out. And you've got... Is there... No, th there's no slip pocket on this. But yeah. I don't use it as much, but... I just keep it because I, it reminds me of my small boy bag. And this bag is from... It's a vintage, I think, Loewe piece. I feel like this shape of bag... I don't know, like... I'm still... I haven't re researched well enough. Well, Hermes has this bag and Koch has this kind of style of bag as well. Um, I do love the shape of this. Again, it, it gives you that nautical vibes, which is so much myself. And they say you wear it with the logo to the body. And this one is the front of the bag. And I quite like how that... Yeah, it's a perfect like travel bag, I would say. This... There's so much stuff that you can fit in this. It has a big slip pocket in the front, which has a snap button there for extra security. And it's got a zipped closure, which has slip pockets inside in there. 
which I've been looking for this hoodie and it's just here. What else is there? Anyway, so the interior is that suede there. And it does remind me of the glove tanned leather from Coach. This is just slightly a touch luxurious than the Coach, I would say. But I do love this. I think one of the things that I treasure in my collection is this one. I don't reach for it as much, but I do love it. It's gonna stay in the collection permanently, I would say. I will never get rid of this. Um, okay, so let's move on to my puzzle bags because I have five puzzle bags right now and there is one over here that I haven't revealed in this channel yet. Um, let's start off with the biggest one. So this is my puzzle bag in the medium size. Now Loewe decided to redesign the whole puzzle bag range and you know turn it into the puzzle edge there was quite a mix of like review a mixed um opinion about that i mean myself included i don't feel it the the like the edge design but then you know as things with with fashion if you get used to it you kind of just accept it because <laughs> what else do you what other choice do you have anyway I mean, your other choice would be the pre-love market and where, and that's where I have sourced majority of my puzzle bags. This included, this I got from eBay for not much, I think this is about not even $1,500, I think less than $1,500, but it did come with quite a bit of wear in it, not much, but I just wanted to keep a larger size of the puzzle bag. Um, although I don't reach for this as often, I I just love to have things that I... I love options, basically. Um, but yeah, I do love this size. It's very functional because of the amount of storage in it. But yeah, that's the, the medium size puzzle bag. Now, I have three. And then there were three. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> the stone blue color puzzle bag. These are all, mind you, I got all of them on the old version. So I am so grateful to have all of these. This one I got also from eBay, except for the tan one. I remember using this in the Philippines as well. I'm surprised of how this had like seamlessly like incorporated into my wardrobe. It was in a way like it's not a neutral, it has a color, but this this shade of blue is kind of a denim. So, you know, I love my denims and it just seamlessly have worked in my wardrobe. And I love this small puzzle bag. And I've also added this about late last year and I just didn't do a video on it but yeah I think I needed like a basic like black bag a puzzle bag in the small size I have been on a hunt for quite a while but it's all always in Japan but because I don't want to pay the extra customs and duties things like that I waited until I find something um, that is within Australia and came across this one. It did come with some wares around it, but it wasn't too bad. I feel like this is one of those first generation puzzle bags because the dust bag that it came in with, I hope it's, no, it's not here, but the dust bag that it came in with was with the one with the Loewe, the, the drawstring was has that Loewe branding on it. And I remember back then when I started buying these puzzle bags, some of their dust bags were those. So 
this was an OG. One of the OGs. And it has some wear inside. The lining has some stains in it, actually, if you can see there. I couldn't get it out, so I mean, it's the lining anyway. I'm not too fast taking that get rid of it, but if I could, I'd be very happy. Um, okay, Patrick. This puzzle bag has a name, and he is Patrick, my dear, my dearest gentle readers. <laughs> my dear Loewe puzzle bag in a small size in 10. With the feet on the bottom, <laughs> always saying that. But out of all the bags in here, this is one of those bags that I would highly recommend. <clears throat> How many years has this been? Like six years maybe? That I have used this bag and it still looks really good. But mind you, I have so many bags. So that's why. You know, I have so many bags that <laughs> it's not... <sighs> what? Yeah, so I rotate my bags to make sure just to use all of them. But Loewe leather, Loewe leather is top tier. I've read somewhere that Loewe uses the same like leather manufacturing company as Hermes, um, which is good. My energy is tanking. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I think this is my ultimate favorite bag. Functional. Design-wise. And yeah. Fits into my like wardrobe, essentially. And with this fit, navy. So chic. Um, okay. My only mini puzzle bag. So this is the... Uh, Loewe puzzle bag in the mini size. I got this from Neta Porta. I actually like mocked this bag up because I got some color transfer at the back, which I was happily to get rid of. Um, well, I think it was a brown leather jacket that bled into it, which was quite unfortunate, but it's good now. So I don't use this as often as well because. <sighs> that traumatized me. Now, I'm very careful about this bag. I only use this if I wear like a white shirt like this. And how good is that with this outfit? So chic, right? 